Brister. Got to get the offense going here from the 22. Close to the first down. Maurice Johnson, the tight end, number 87. Three-year man from Temple. Yeah, well, they bring that waggle. They come out and they fake one way, then they drag the tight end completely back across. Then you have the option of hitting the near side tight end, which was Bavaro, or Johnson coming across, and he, he takes it. option two. They'll measure here as it was indeed very close. It is first down for the Eagles. Well, wait a minute. Yes, it is. They're going to march the chains here at the 32-yard line. 3-0 New Orleans lead. 24 degrees here in Philadelphia. A lot of cold weather sights today in the NFL. This is Walker. Walker is going to be dropped for a lot. Well defended, stringing it up. Very well, yeah, very well defended because what they did, they took Herschel Walker and they made him run sideways. And you win with a running back anytime you can get him running this way. If he starts going this way, you win. He starts going up the field. Now, they fill the hole right there, take it outside. Sam Mills inside. Ricky Jackson holding the corner. And then let everybody come over the top. Nicely done. So it's second and 12, and that's a more uh, typical look of the New Orleans defensive pursuit than they've been able to show much of this year. That's by the outstanding veteran, Ricky Jackson. And Brester trying to get it to the tight end again, off target, intended for Johnson. Sam Mills, the linebacker, coming over on the coverage, but Brister just missed it. That leaves a third and 12. Bobby Brister, you know, he's played himself a pretty good, he had played pretty good football the last few weeks. He played within himself, and that's exactly what he needed to do. He couldn't go out there and try to be Randall Cunningham or Dan Marino or anybody other than himself. And when he plays within his capabilities, he's pretty effective. Last week against Indianapolis in the victory, 21 for 39, a touchdown, just one interception. Sideliner is caught, complete by Michael Young, and a first down Eagles at their own 45-yard line. Well, it's a good job by Leggett. They got Leggett and Young, and they were manned up all the way. They had a safety free. Now he's going to, when you have the guy manned, you got to drive him up the field, get past the first down marker, and then make your comeback. See that? The ball's got to be thrown low. Everything's done perfectly. Nice job by Michael Young. Michael Young, who came over from the Broncos as a free agent this year. Nine-year veteran out of UCLA. First down, Eagles at their own 45. Johnson, the tight end in motion, sets up the block. Screen to Johnson. And it's well read and fumbled and recovered by the Saints. New Orleans played that perfectly. Sam Mills read it all the way. And New Orleans has come up with a turnover and excellent field position again. And a good job of the linebackers again of the New Orleans Saints. The linebackers have been the strength of this defense and they do not disappoint again. Ricky Jackson with the fumble recovery. Financial services. Watch right here, Ricky Jackson falls down. Now Lester Holmes thinks he's down so he leaves him alone. And that allows Jackson to get in on a play and, of course, eventually get the fumble recovery. Ball rolled right under Ricky Jackson. First down for the Saints. That's Brown trying to get wide. Can't do it. William Thomas, the linebacker number 51, cut him off at the pass. Early score in from Chicago on Frozen Soldier Field. The Bears on top of Detroit 7-0, a game affecting not only those two teams, but uh, the teams here. New Orleans' only chance at punching a wild card, winning two, and needing a loss by the Vikings or the Bears at least once more. Philadelphia also affected by the Chicago situation. Mike Buck from the 40-yard line. Second and 10, no gain on the last play. And Brown is smacked again, ran into his own blocker. Good job by Harmon pushing the blocker back into Brown. He winds up with only a yard. Hopkins on the tackle. Good pursuit by that Philadelphia Eagle defense. When you talk about suit, you, you, you talk about Andre Waters, number 20. And there's one guy who will always show up in every play, 
is going to be Waters. You know, first Seth Joyner forces him out with harm, and now here come the boys. Now here, right at the end, see that Andre Waters? When I watch this team, what I see is three guys always making plays. Andre Waters is one, Seth Joyner is two, and Eric Allen is three. That is the mainstay of the defense. A third and nine. First real test for Mike Buck from the shotgun to keep it going, and it is incomplete, intended. On the left side for Martin, the go-to guy on third down, a flag on the play. And they get offsides on the New Orleans Saints. But I talked about guys who make plays, and 59, Seth Joyner right here. Seth Joyner will bring the pressure and force this pass. First of all, nobody touches him, and that always amazes me. Whenever you have a player like Seth Joyner and you don't account for him, that is poor offense by the Saints. The illegal procedure against the Saints declined, of course, by the Philadelphia Eagles, and Anderson is out for another field goal try. He's hit from 41. Again, field into goal, the wind, and goal. we say that with some caution. The flags are blowing against them high on top of Veterans Stadium, but it can swirl around. This is a 56-yard attempt, which would lead you to believe he may have a following wind down there. That snap, good recovery by Barnhart, and it is good. Oh, boy. Anderson from 56 yards away and had to hold off on his timing, Matt, because Barnhart had to reach over and put the ball down for him. Morton Anderson makes it six to zip. Workshop and told his plans to me, so you better watch out. There's a new kind of Dockers. Longest ever outdoor field goal, 56 yards, and a good placement by Tommy Barnhart, the punter, the pass from Jay Hilgenberg, the center, a little off to his left, and he had to do a good job to plant it, and Anderson nails it through, his longest ever, 60 yards against the Bears. But that was a home game at New Orleans, indoors. Kickoff taken by Sikahema at the eight-yard line. And Sikahema, good return for the Eagles out to the 26. Met there by Othello Henderson. And we're told that uh, that 56-yarder by Anderson, the longest field goal ever kicked here at Veterans Stadium. The circular stadiums, you do get some strange wins because the uh, wind indicating at the top of the stadium blowing against Anderson, but by the time it swirls around, uh, we have to assume that it uh, had to be behind him. James Joseph on first down gets about two on the left side for the Eagles. And now for an NFL update. Let's go to Greg in New York. All right, Tim, big match up in Chicago in the NFC Central. Tim Worley capped a 10-minute Chicago Bear drive with a one-yard plunge. About three minutes to play in the first quarter. The Bears have a 7-0 lead on the Lions. Tim and Matthew, back to you in Philadelphia. Thank you, Greg. Uh, we'll be tracking that game, of course, of uh, much playoff import. Tim Worley appears to have found a home in Chicago. Second and eight for the Eagles here. Down by six on two Martin Anderson field goals. Joseph again, and he has nailed as they shredded the offensive line. Jim Wilkes and Joseph battling winds up being driven back inside the 20, but they're going to spot it upfield with forward progress. Now they brought the linebacker, Sam Mills, and that disrupted thing. Watch Mills come right up inside, and he's going to take that guard right out of it. Now they're going to try to come back. They have to block back, and Wilkes comes right up inside. <laughs> Jim Wilkes, normally the starter on the nose, uh, was out with an injury, a triceps injury earlier in the season. Les Miller, who was also hurt, wound up uh, filling in and staying there. So Wilkes now playing as a backup in a darn good one. Third and 13. Brister blitz and sacks from the corner of Vince Buck. That's good, solid defense. And they brought Sam Mills off the corner, and he comes inside. That allows Buck to come right off the corner. Now watch, he'll come, and he'll come to the inside, and that'll allow Buck to come right back outside. Now whenever you're blitzing off the corner, your passing lanes all have to come inside. Whenever you come inside, that opens up the outside corner, and then Buck comes clean. Eagles now has to punt from...